Egunon everyone, welcome back to my daily Euskera practice. I'm working on vocabulary pretty heavy for the next few days. I've got a quiz coming up in my Basque class and there's a lot of stuff I don't remember and it's really embarrassing. You know, I feel like learning Basque, it's like I'm going one step forward, taking two steps back pretty much every time because I don't study as consistently as I should uh, most of the time. Now I'm doing this daily vlog for you, so hopefully it'll get better with time. But I'm kind of tired of like making the same mistakes over and over and over again and feeling like I should know stuff when I don't, whereas maybe if I just studied it, I'd eventually learn it. So that's what we're doing today. I'm working on vocabulary. Yesterday I started making a little vocabulary booklet, which my teacher recommended. And so I already started filling out some clothing vocabulary. So thank you guys so much in the comments that helped out with that. Uh, today I'm gonna go back to like super basics, like stuff that I learned at Uraleku Basque summer camp when I was like 10 years old. And when I say learned, I mean I was taught, but clearly it hasn't sunk in yet because, well, I'm not 10 years old anymore. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, and that is uh, parts of the body. Real basic things that you should know, parts of the body. I found this worksheet in my study notes and I don't know if you can tell, it's pretty unfortunate. It's a really bad handout. The, um, the words are kind of blurry, um, so it's kind of hard to read, but it is what it is. And then at the bottom, there's a bunch of vocabulary and spaces for me to put the, I guess, translations to them, but I uh, clearly never went ahead and did that. So, instead of having this handout lost in my notes, I am going to cut it up and put it in my vocabulary book. That way, you know, when I'm looking for vocabulary specifically, I will have this in my booklet as a reference for, you know, when random things like elbows and knees show up. I don't know why elbows and knees are hard for me to remember in any language, like not just Basque. Like I'm literally right now trying to think, genou, ah. I'm like, even in French, I'm like, what is what is a knee? Got there eventually. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've got my little dude here who's already annotated. Uh, how's it gonna fit? I don't have any glue, I don't think. So I've got some like masking tape. That's just gonna have to do. Oh man, if you watch my uh, cooking videos, I started doing cooking videos once a week. Um, I feel like every single video I'm borrowing stuff from my parents because my kitchen is so ill-equipped. Well, here we go, my study area is ill-equipped as well. I don't have glue, but it's gonna have to, it's gonna have to do. So this little guy, but then there's also these words at the bottom. So I'm gonna leave him here for reference so that when I look through this vocabulary book, I can read um, the labels on him. Uh, but then while I'm at it, I, I figure I might as well tape this in here too and actually fill this out like I was supposed to do when I got this probably like a year ago. <laughs> but you know, I've been really lazy with learning vocabulary. I learned study skills in school and it was basically like American standardized test prep. That's basically just like, read the instructions, follow the instructions, like get it done, you know? Um, and so actually like learning, <laughs> learning to retain information, like this is something I haven't done in a, a long time. But it's important when learning a language that you actually remember the things that you learn and you don't just learn them to t pass the test. You know what I mean? So here we go. I hope that when I actually get to um, filling out these words. I hope that I find I, I know a few of them because I do know some parts of the body. Just not as many as maybe would be useful. But I think when I got this sheet too, I was making excuses. Like I didn't need to learn these for a test or a quiz or anything, which 
years of being a nerd in school, like tests really motivated me. Um, so I didn't really like need to do this. And also I was just like, ah, if I speak Basque with people, like how often am I gonna be talking to people about the parts of their body? Like that's invasive, right? <laughs> but maybe it comes up more often than you would think. Okay, here we go. All right, so that's all <laughs> really jankily taped in there. Jankily, see, I invent words in English too. Jankily taped in there. So let us begin. First one, burua. I know this. That is the head. Begiak, eyes. I learned that in a song when I was a kid. Ahoa. Mm, don't know that one. So just for the sake of time, I'm going to throw these in Google's Translate because and it's not the best, but it's accurate or like good enough most of the time. So we'll just do that. Ahoa is mouth. Okay. That's, that's a good one to know, I guess. Sudura. Sudura. Nose. Never heard that one before. Nobody talks to me about my nose, I guess. Ooh, belariak. I, is that glasses? No. <laughs> Way off. What is glasses? Hold on, hold on, is this Beggy Betaurekoak? Oh, I was way off. But like in my American mind, like those words look the same to me. Okay, Belariak, ears. Oh, I think that was, that was in the same song that I learned the eyes. Begiak, Belariak. Yeah, and then I don't know what came after, but. <laughs> Ilea, hair. Betileak. Betileak. Eyelashes. Huh. Oh, okay. Ile hair. Betty always. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll take your word for it. Google eyelashes. Bekainak. Bekainak. Eyebrows. Ooh, this is going to be tricky because these words are very similar. Betileak and Bekainak. At least betiliac has ilea in it. For I mean, but eyebrows have hair too, so. Oh, I'm having flashbacks. In high school, I took a Tagalog class. I learned Filipino for one semester with my friend because I had exhausted all of the French classes, all of the Spanish classes at my school. So as a senior, I thought it'd be kind of fun to try something different at the community college. So I took night classes in Tagalog and I'll be honest with you, like I didn't learn anything. I was, we would get vocabulary lists and I would just get so overwhelmed because I just remember one time the vocabulary list was like 20 words, not even a huge list, but every single word started with, or it felt like every single word started with M-A. Mabuhai, Mabuti, Masarap. God, even when I speak Tagalog, I sound kind of Basque. <laughs> I never had the accent for it, I'll tell you that. If you think my accent is bad in Basque, like, oh, listen to my Tagalog. It was embarrassing. Like, my classmates all, like, laughed at me. Oh, the sad thing of being the only white girl in a Filipino class. Anyway, what am I saying? I'm saying that I'm, I'm feeling like I'm back in that Tagalog class. Everything started with ma here. Everything starting with be, betileak, bekainak, begiak, belariak. Ugh. It's okay. With enough repetition, it will sink in one day, hopefully. So how about some variety? Horzak. Horzak. Teeth. Ooh, never would have guessed that. Mihia. Ooh, that sounds familiar. That sounds like I've heard that before. Ah, that's why I've heard that before. Tongue. I know this word because when we go to Basque restaurants, I think it's so excited. It goes, Mihia when it's on the table. Tongue, he loves tongue, okay. So, you should be able to remember that one. Tongue. Bulara, bulara, chest, okay. Besoak, yeah, a lot of B words here. Arms, wouldn't have guessed that. Okay, beso, Spanish for kiss, besoak, Arms. Can I create a word association between kissing and arms? 
It's a stretch. I mean, arms aren't usually something that are commonly kissed. <laughs> oh, but maybe that silly joke will help me remember. Besoak. Hanka. Oh, that, that's, that is a word that does not feel right to say. And Google agrees with me because it does not have a translation for that. How about the histegiak of Elhuar? Um, the leg. Oh. Google, why didn't you know that? That seems pretty basic. Let me see, what do they put for leg? Oh. When you translate leg on Google Translate, it says hanka. When you put in hanka, it gives you hanka. <laughs> Thanks, Google. Okay, so in in French, la hanche, hanka, la hanche, okay. Let's see if I remember that. Eshkouak, that's hands. I know that's hands. Eshkouin, eshkouin, hand. Eshku, eshku pilota, I've heard this, okay. Um, belaunak, belaunak. Knees. I was just saying, nobody cares about saying knees. Belaunak. Silbora. Gosh, who, knows, who knew there were so many parts of the body? Belly button. Come on. When am I going to use? It's okay. Don't complain. It's fine. It's just words. It's just words. They can't hurt you. Lepoa. Oh, that sounds real familiar. Neck. I don't know why that sounds familiar. Neck, lepoa. Behatsa. Behatsa. Toe. Okay. Oina, I believe, is foot. Oh, cool. Google doesn't have a translation for that. What if I put in foot? It puts oines or oin. So, oina, foot. And I know that because of the Oinkati Basque dancers of Boise, Idaho. They use their feet. <laughs> <laughs> Biscara, back. Okay, wow, that's a lot of, a lot of body parts. Let's see. So I, I'm just cross-referencing what I wrote out here versus my little dude. Um, and I just want to be sure that everything that's on this written list is labeled on my dude and there's not any surprises. Ahoa, lepoa, hatsa. Is that, or, oh, I think that, no? I don't think Hatsa was on the list. What is that? Finger, oh, okay. Let's, let's add that to the list. Hatsa equals finger. And then there's something else on here. I don't think I just went over. Sud no, Sudura was nose. Eshkua, Beshwa. Yeah, everything else is, is on the list. Okay, cool. All right, so we've got more vocabulary. <laughs> and now they are in the book. So in theory, if I wanna sit down and review vocabulary, it should be very easy now because slowly I'm adding them all to this booklet and hopefully this will help. I have to believe it will help, right? Otherwise, this is an exercise of futility. It's okay, everybody keeps telling me learning Basque is a lifelong process, and I'm a very impatient person, so I hate that. Like, I just wanna, I just wanna learn Basque. Like, six months from now, be conversational. <laughs> if I really want that to happen, that would take a lot of work, and I don't think I'm that committed at this point. Anyway, whatever, I'm ranting, so. That's, that's it, that's all I got for today. I think my head's exploding just from, just from a little bit of vocabulary. So thank you so much for watching, for following along on this journey. Please, in the comments, do not leave me any more vocabulary because I have my hands full. Um, but yeah. If you have any like mnemonic devices or tricks for remembering, you know, all these words starting with B, 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 all of this, like, <laughs> if you learned Basque and you have any tricks to help me kind of get this to sink in, I'd appreciate hearing that in the comments. That'd be pretty sick. Um, 
But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch more videos of me struggling to learn the Basque language, you can subscribe to the Hello Basque YouTube channel. I'm here doing this every day. So check back in and see how it's going. So hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Garuarte.